Hmm? <laughs> One summer morning, Pockets woke up and decided to go for his morning walk. The air was cooler in the morning, because later on towards the afternoon, it would get a lot warmer. On his way walking along the trail, he saw a young lady walking her dog and noticed that the dog had a tag around his neck. He asked Miss Linda, why does your dog have a tag around his neck? Did you just bring him or her? Linda just smiled and said, it's just to identify my pet, so if it ever gets lost, it has the name of my pet and the address to bring it home. Pockets was ever so surprised that she told him that. Then he started thinking about the cats, a rabbit, horses, and hamsters. But what about a fish? He asked with curiosity. Linda chuckled gently and replied, no, a fish doesn't run around outside. It stays in the house in a tank or a bowl. She smiled at Pockets, her honey brown eyes sparkling in the sunlight. Pockets couldn't help but think about his stuffed animals. I lose them all the time, he admitted. One time, I was so hungry that I left my teddy bear at the park. And when I came to look for it, he was gone. I should have had a tag around his neck with bells on it. Linda's smile widened as she listened to Pocket's story. She kneeled down to his level and said, You know, Pockets, sometimes we all lose things that are special to us. But remember, it's not about the tags or the bells, it's about cherishing the things we love. Pockets nodded, understanding the wisdom in Linda's words. You're right, he said. I'll make sure to take better care of my stuffed animals from now on. Linda ruffled Pocket's hair and continued her walk with her dog. Pockets joined her for a while, enjoying the company and the warm morning breeze. As they walked, he couldn't help but notice how Linda's blonde hair shone in the sunlight, making her look even more like the embodiment of her Spanish name, Pretty. And so, Pockets learned a valuable lesson that summer morning. It wasn't about tags or bells, it was about treasuring the things he cared about and showing them the love they deserved. As he waved goodbye to Miss Linda and her dog, he felt a newfound sense of responsibility and gratitude for all the special things in his life, whether they were furry, stuffed, or simply wonderful memories of a beautiful morning walk.